I'm gonna keep it, we'll link, link or put it on your portfolio website. No. Okay. Oh, I mean, it's recording, but we're gonna edit all this. Yeah. 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 So. All right, thank you guys. I'm so glad you're here. Me and Ms. Wingfield are here to just talk about senior experience. I have with me four of our outstanding scholars. I think everybody's a scholar, but I love you all, particularly extra. It is now on camera, so don't tell anybody, right? <laughs> okay, um, so there are a couple of questions that we wanna share for our incoming 12th graders across the country. So as you know, 3DE currently has four senior consultancy programs within its national network. Next year, it's gonna go up by times four. It'll be 16 schools. So this video will be help, be um, shown to those schools to be able to help them get ready for the senior experience because they have no idea what to do. So with that, I've got two questions. We'll do the first one first. The first one is, what is the senior... Well, wait, let's introduce ourselves and tell me a little bit about your... Uh, your plans, share some of your accolades that you've received in the past week or so, who you are and all that other great stuff. Let's we'll start with Kyosha. Oh, well, hey y'all, my name is Kyosha. I'm a senior. Um, I've been in 3D for all four years and I'm actually not going to college. I'm going to real estate school to be a real estate agent and one day I hope to be a broker. All right. Hey, my name is Gerardo Negrete. Um, I'm a senior. I've been in 3D for all four years and I'm going to GSU to major in film and media. My name is Sharnice Jones. I joined 3DE my 10th grade year and I will be attending Tuskegee University in the fall to study architecture. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jaden Gilmore. I've been in 3DE for the four years that I've been at Benneker High School. Uh, what I'll be doing after high school is actually going to attend TSU for a major in business and minor in criminal justice. Very good. And then we also have some other senior award recipients in the last couple of days, last okay. couple of weeks. Can you share your awards, please? Oh, uh, oh you want to share the award? That we we'll got? start with Sharnice since yeah. she's got the big, the big one. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> um, I am the class of 2022 salutatorian. I also received the award for mathematician of the year as well as the um, avid award. Any extracurricular activities? Any extra work-based learning awards or anything else anybody else received? Um, I received like a two pathway awards, one for engineering and one for entrepreneurship. Um, we just received a couple of <laughs> certificates uh, from Moi Alpha Theta, which is also a math honor society uh, organization. Um, I will also am miss two-time Mr. FBLA as Future Business Leader of America. Are we bragging? Okay. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Brag, brag. It's my turn now, y'all. I have been Miss FBLA for three years in a row. I'm always Miss FBLA. Um, yeah. What else did I get? Oh, I got the Excellence Award for Work Based Learning from Miss Moran. I also got courts from the Healthcare Pathway. Um, I got courts from FBLA. I got courts from Hospitality. I got courts. I got a lot of courts, y'all. Um, what else were we talking about? See, yeah, see, uh, you, you, the you, CCAE? Oh, you wasn't done? I wasn't, but you can go ahead. <laughs> okay. And I also got courts from, oh, I have my court from when Ms. Lane was here. She had her um, LGBT community court. I got that one. I have a lot of courts. Shannon, you can finish because I don't even know. Oh, I have a couple of courts also, like Muaf Theta, LBLA, um, National Honor Society. What else? Um, I have this other court. Uh, engineering and what else? I, I know I, I just can't name. Only three D students. All this yeah, extra. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I'll move on. Just keep. Oh so, my bad. I'm also the president and Sora. I'm the president of Sora. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, and the joke is he is Jaden Gilmore. Yeah. Um, <laughs> question. Question number one is what is the senior experience in your own words? We're gonna start. I want to start. <laughs> 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 the 3DE senior experience, I would definitely say it's not like um, what you experience from 9th through 11th grade. Um, of course, you do the case studies, you work with several companies and address their challenge, come up with a solution in about a month. Um, I would say the 3DE senior experience is that, however, it is a bit more detailed and it requires you to do a lot more research and um, fully 
explain your idea to address the company's solution. So with that, I would say it requires a lot of self-discipline. Unlike in previous years, you are given the freedom to sort of come up with how you want the project to go, timeline, um, when you think you should have things done. And with that, you need to be able to figure out what you need done and when you need it done. And Anybody else? Just passing the baton, the mic. Mm -hmm. My personal experience, I mean, it'll be different for y'all because we just got out of COVID, like post-COVID. So our experience will be way different than you, probably y'all experience, but probably most likely similar. Uh, I'll say this, like, things is going to keep moving forward. Like, something good is going on. I, I, I just got done watching, like, the Tom Hanks interview. So, like, yeah, so, like, literally the way he was saying, like, uh, it's, like, two shall pass. Like, if something's good going on, it's going to, like, pass, but doesn't mean that you give up or, like, you still you get depressed or you start thinking negative thoughts. Even when something bad's going on, it's gonna still pass. Cause like, that's the way life goes. It's still gonna keep on moving on. So, so senior consultancy will pass yeah, eventually. You know okay. So I say <laughs> like, never give up, to be honest with you. Never Good. give up and stay focused. Okay. What's the senior experience in your own words? Well, really, <laughs> uh, senior experience. I'd say there's a lot of freedom that's um that's a scary part about it. Everybody thinks freedom is a good thing, but I feel like the senior consultancy was about kind of like a pre-K of what real life is. Oh, I like that. Because although we're getting freedom, there's our hand is still being held at to uh to an extent, not fully, but we're not let go fully yet either. So I guess that's how it. I like that. That's very good. That's good. Kelsey. Oh, okay. Um. Dang. What was I gonna say? Oh, I would like to add on that the senior year, if you're a perfectionist, because I tend to have those traits according to my youth science results, yeah. <laughs> um, it's going to be very tedious. And not because there's like things wrong with the group or things wrong with the company. It's only because you being yourself, you're going to be like, okay, hey, this is good. Somebody else did it. But now I have to go back and make it up to my expectations. And it's not always like that because you have to take accountability for what you know you're going to do, just like everyone else has to as well. So when you're doing your project, make sure you don't take on all the work upon yourself because it can become stressful, especially if you have to do a whole PowerPoint at the last minute. Very good. Okay, I'll move on to the next question. What is the benefit of 3DE as you prepare for graduation? Oh, can I go first? You <laughs> I want to go first. I want to go first. Okay, so um, previous to high school, I was in AVID. Um, I've been in AVID for a long time. But when I got here, and it was like, well, you can't be in 3DE and AVID. So I branched out, and I chose to be in 3DE. And um, speech preparation is something that it taught me. I have always been good at vocalizing myself, but 3DE helped me fix my grammar. It helped me fix my innovation skills. It helped me consult with companies. And my senior experience was kind of different. Not in a bad way, y'all. But um, it was only different because you actually get to interact with the company before your very final meeting. So they're going to be with you the entire step of the way. And that's not something that I was used to. So me being me, when they gave me feedback, I'm like, oh, but I thought I was done. Like I didn't know the child wanted more. So yes, 3DE has taught me how to vocalize my opinions a lot more in a, in a what's the word, positive way. Nice. Oh. Uh, to piggyback off of what she said, I feel like 3D taught me how to become a very young, if I want to still pursue as being an entrepreneur, uh, like it taught me the ways of business, like taxes and all that stuff. And like even talking to people, uh, like it's different how you talk to your friends or your parents than you talk to them too. Like if you're in an interview, or like the interview questions are what to ask, like don't ask, just like answer with one question. You have to ask with like uh, the, that answer and then an explanation of why you think that or why you uh, chose that answer. So uh, anyway. She's gonna edit it. She's gonna edit it. So we're all She's gonna edit it. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, well, I can still go. Yeah. Oh, um. Damn. She'll clean all that up. She'll okay. clean all this up. What was I talking about then? What is the benefit of 3DE as you prepare for graduation? Oh yeah, and it also taught me. Um, be very vocal. Like I was very shy in night in the tenth grade. I didn't know nobody here in that uh where I came to Baker. Like, all my friends went to other schools, so I was just here by myself, didn't know nobody. And with 3DE it taught me hey 
how to get out of my comfort zone, how to like walk up to a random person and like talk to them. Like I could do that now. But in ninth grade, I was like, uh, even the people I did know, I was like, no. Nah, <laughs> but like now I could just say what I want to say and speak my mind and truth. That's fair. Okay. I would say that the 3DE experience um, allows you to be trained to be comfortable in professional settings. I think that our presence in professional settings is definitely inevitable as we get older. And we want to be comfortable and appear to how we are and be able to show our skills, our characteristics that make us fit to be in that professional setting. So with being, being able to create the presentations and like Kiyoshi said, talk with those who work with companies and just present yourself well, I think 3D has done a great job at preparing us to perform in that setting. Um, so like Jaden said, um, 3D helped me get a lot more comfortable with interacting with strangers that I never have never met before or ever thought I was going to meet. Um, I'm a lot more comfortable with, I'm a lot more comfortable by going up to, in front of large groups of people because um, I no longer just think about what they think when they see me. I now prepare only myself so I know that nobody's going to think bad of me. And That's great. Last question. What's your favorite core competency? One time. Your favorite core competency? My favorite core competency is creativity and innovation. Um, I've always been into design. All of the career choices, whether I stuck with them or got rid of them, um, they have always involved design. So I'm always the creative manager in my groups because <laughs> I'm really into how things look, the aesthetics, and I just love new ideas. Good. Um, yeah. No, well, you can have I, the I, same one. I think, oh. I think we're all going to say the same one because <laughs> I was going to say two, actually. I was going to say two. Well, cool. I'm going to say the same as hers because um, I just like creating things, not so much about, well, everybody wants to make something look nice, but I think making it unique and different is also something that's very beautiful in its own way because something that you make, there's a different sense of accomplishment by making something new that, you know, nobody else is going to have or do. Good. Oh, um, I Okay, my biggest favorite core competency, competency is going to be innovation only because I always like to work on myself and when I work on myself and others notice it, it's like, oh, I'm doing something good and I like helping people find out other things that they can do to help improve their self as well. So innovation has to be one of my favorites. Okay. Um, yeah, it was short. <laughs> <laughs> my, uh, I have two. What is, the first one is critical thinking and the other ones with creativity and uh, innovation. That creativity and innovation. Um, the reason I say critical thinking is because me personally, I like to think outside the box. So I like to think differently than everybody else. Like, um, so I, I have like these big ideas, but sometimes even with my team, uh, oh, that's also another one, collaboration. Uh, my teammates they either say it's a good idea or they like give me a piggyback off my idea to like support it, uh, to make it seem more sustainable, like a sustainable idea. And for the creativity, like like thinking thinking outside the box, being different, it's like not. What's it called? How do I say that? It's not bad. That sounds very second grade vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not I'm just glad you identified yeah. it. Such. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the worst. The worst, yeah. But it's not the worst. To, um, Three extra letters to be. Yeah, right. But it's just on a bad and worse, but. It's not the worst to be different. Like, it's good to like your presentation or your project not looking the same as everybody else. Like, just because I say the smartest person in the classroom has a presentation, don't mean you have to do the exact same thing that they did. Because you know what I'm saying, it may look good for them where they can pull that off, but like, you could pull off something that probably was way better in your own way. Great. Any other final comments about 3DE senior year? Anything you want to share? Oh, mm. uh, I wanted to say about he said collaboration, and I think collaboration is a really nice thing because you get to see the different points of view of everybody, the different perspectives, the different backgrounds that come with it. So it just you won't be so conservative. Um, your thought process, you think about um, how to, how it affects different people or people from different places, not just um, 
race or things like that. There's a lot more that things are based off of, like income, the place they live, and the people they hang around with. Right. I'm not gonna lie. This would be a good team if it was still in 3D. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> and we've never, all <laughs> <since> <laughs> never been in the same class together. Well, thank you for being in this very moment. <laughs> Serious tone. Yeah. Yeah. More, I mean, it's a more serious tone, but at the same time, you get to see each other's strengths and weaknesses and get that exposure. So that's good. I can publicly say on this tape, I'm extremely proud of each and every one of you. I'm going to be very sad Ms. on graduation day. Oh. But my but my level of of I was concerned. This has been a rough year, <laughs> but it is. But you all have done. You've stepped up in a way that others have not even had the. Ex expectation too, so that that's good. So keep up the good work. Join that 3D alumni network <laughs> and yeah. keep in touch with us because we want to support you as much as possible. Anytime, welcome next year. Yeah, <laughs> I'll don't, don't. I promise you, welcome next year. I can still access you know, I'm just getting one. I'm just getting one. We would have really good drink team for sure. Really? For sure. For sure. <laughs>